Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Let me preface this by saying that I don't go to the movies a lot. They make me nervous. But I've been twice this year, which is the most I've been. I think the last time I went to the movies before Bullet Train and uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish was Venom. So it's been a while. But I've been rewatching the old Harry Potter movies and started rating them and realized that that's kind of the media that I want to dive into. Since I've been covering music so much, I want to talk about a lot of the things that I'm doing. So we're going to talk about Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Um, straight off the bat, this movie was amazing. Um, uh, the animation was insane. I really like it changed. It changed. So the animation was the typical DreamWorks animation um, throughout the whole film. But when there was fight scenes or any sort of action, it was kind of the frame rate dropped kind of like into the Spider-Verse. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that. The animation was extremely fun to watch and extremely engaging. The colors were bright. The animation, again, was insane. Um, pacing was great. Storytelling was great. And they were able to do something that Spider-Man 3 wasn't able to do and manage a couple of villains. Um, there was, of course, a couple of different um, things that Puss was balancing at the time. Um, and they were all coming together very well. As soon as you would... Um, there, there's a scene where um, Puss is, is threatened by something that he hasn't seen in a while. And he's reminded of it the same time that you are. I mean, I had completely forgotten about this part of the movie until this happened and it was super well done super well animated voice acting was great um i really loved all the characters the the comedy was good for all ages again uh me and my boy went and saw it um and like my homie uh went and saw it and it was great it was a good watch for us i can understand if i was a kid i'd probably watch it like 30 times i mean antonio banderas is great in it um overall it was about an hour and 46 minutes, and it felt it felt like an hour and 46 minutes. That's been my complaint a couple of times. Like, Fantastic Mr. Fox, I feel like, feels like forever, and it's an hour and a half. Um, but it was a good movie. Uh, I really enjoyed going back and getting back into the idea of going and seeing movies. Um, overall, I believe that I rated it an 8.5 out of 10, and my buddy Aaron rated it an 8 out of 10. So overall, it was a really, really good movie. Um, I plan to continue and go see more movies. Um, I want to see the Mario movie when it comes out. I want to see Avatar, but the idea of sitting in a movie theater for three and a half hours kind of bores me, but I guess that's part of it. Um, and the new Transformers Rise of Beasts looks very good. Overall, 8.5 out of 10 for me. Take your kids to see it. Go see it as like yourself. The humor is adult enough, and um, you're able to swallow it, I guess, a lot easier. It's, a, it's just an overall great movie, very fun movie to watch. Go see Puss in Boots so that I can get a Puss in Boots like three, I think it is. Go see it so I can get more movies. If you want Shrek 5, go watch this movie.